So let's look at the other question from 2019 paper 2, Integrated Sons. Okay? A question on plants and animals, specifically on a subtopic which we call transpiration. Okay? This is general biology. Transpiration. Okay? So this question is on transpiration under plants and animals. Okay? So it said, Elena conducted an experiment to demonstrate <coughs> transpiration in plants. So Elena conducted an experiment. Now this experiment was to investigate or to demonstrate what? Transpiration. Are we together people? Yes. So you guys are supposed to know what transpiration is, right? Yes. What is transpiration? Remember what you said? Transpiration is the loss of water vapor by a plant through the stomata. Transpiration is the loss of water vapor by a plant through the what? The stomata. That is transpiration. Are you moving together? Yes. So this our experiment was conducted to investigate or to demonstrate what transpiration out together. So this lady had two setups. Setup A and setup B. Are we together, guys? So in this setup, we have got a this potted uh, plant. Are we together? This is the pot, this is a pot. Now this potted uh, plant, it consists of leaves in setup A. Hi guys, are you able to see? Uh, this plant in the first setup consists of leaves. It has leaves. Are we together, guys? It has leaves. Then this other plant uh, on the other setup, which is setup B, it has no what? It has no leaves. Are we moving together, guys? Okay? So this one has leaves. This one does not consist, it has no leaves, right? It does not consist of what? Leaves. Are we together, guys? Okay? Then you have got a bell jar. Okay, you have got a bell jar. Okay, in each setup there is a bell jar. Are we together? Yes. Then the first question is saying, explain what would be observed after two hours in both setups. So they want you to explain what uh, is going to be observed after two hours in <coughs> setup A and setup what? B. Now since guys, we have this, uh, this experiment it is based on transpiration, which is the loss of water vapor, water vapor by a plant through the stomach, stomata. And we know that transpiration usually occurs in leaves. Why we it together? Yes. Transpiration usually occurs in what? Leaves. Because leaves are the ones which consist of stomata. Yes. So transpiration usually occurs in what? Are leaves. Aye. So you realize uh, in setup A, <coughs> setup A is going to undergo a transpiration at a very, very high rate. Because setup A consists of a potted plant which consists of what? Leaves. Are we together? Then on the other hand, setup B does not uh, consist of what leaves. Okay, the plant, in, uh, the potted plant uh, in setup B doesn't have what leaves. So expect transplant not to take place, or if it means taking place, it's going to take place at a very, very minimum what rate. Are we together? So I went to have high transplant in setup what? A. As compared to setup what? B. Are we moving together? So when transplant occurs, let's say in setup A, you realize these leaves are going to uh, lose water vapor. Okay, so the water vapor is going to move upwards, hence forming what you call water droplets, right? So we're going to have water droplets. A lot of water droplets is set up what? Set up, set up A. Okay, a lot of water droplets is set up what? Set up A. So this, these water droplets, they're coming from uh, the water vapor which has been lost by what? Uh, this plant during transpiration. That is through uh, the leaves. Are we together? Yes. Because this plant has a lot of what leaves. So expect transpiration to what to take place at a first rate time, guys. As compared to this other one. Maybe transpiration may occur in some other parts, but at a very, very slowly time. Because it does not have what leaves. So this one's going to have few few water droplets or no water drop droplets because it does not have what leaves. Is it okay guys? Is it clear with you? Okay, very good. So Let's make, let me write the answer for question A. So let's say answers. Answers. Okay. Answers. So question A. So I bet we're, going to, we're going to explain first what is going to happen. First we're going to explain what is going to happen in setup A. So I'm going to say explanation for setup A. Uh, setup A. We can say in the setup. 
setup A, there will be a lot, a lot of what? A lot of water, a lot of water droplets, droplets on the on the surface, on the on the surface of the bell jar, on the surface of the bell. On the surface of the bell jar. Is it okay? Okay? Then you move and say, can you say wow? <coughs> okay, can you say in setup? Wow, in setup. Setup, setup, setup B. <laughs> there will be less. You can say less or no water. Water droplets, less or no water droplets on the surface of the bell jar. On the surface, on the surface of the, of the what guys? Very good. Of the bell, of the bell jar. Okay. So this is our first uh, question. Explain what would add, what would be observed after two hours in both setups. Right? So. We are going to have a lot of water droplets, okay, on the surface of the bell jar in setup A. Then in setup B, we are going to have less or no water droplets because this plant does not have leaves, right, guys? Okay? Then let us look at question uh, B. Question B, very good. Let's look at question B. Question B, it says, what substance could be used to prove for the presence of water in the experiment. So if this, okay, if transpiration occurs, okay, takes place, okay, that is, we know that transpiration usually occurs uh, in what, in leaves, right, guys? Okay, so now what substance can we use to prove what, uh, water loss, that is in plants, if a plant has undergone what, transpiration. Let's say I put a leaf, let's say I put uh, a leaf, this is our leaf, okay. Are we together, guys? So if uh, this uh, leaf has undergone this transpiration, okay, what's going to happen is going to lose uh, water vapor. Okay? So now, we can use a substance to, to, to prove that this plant or this leaf has undergone a transpiration. So they want us to now name that substance we use. So that substance is called uh, a cobalt. Cobalt chloride. Okay? The cobalt chloride paper. The cobalt chloride what? Paper. This is what we use. Or you can also use what we call an hydrous copper sulfate. An hydrous copper sulfate. Okay? An hydrous copper sulfate. Sometimes in the final exams, you may be asked to explain the color changes of this substance. Are we together? You may be asked to explain how this substance changes as it uh, comes in exposed water, okay? As it gets in touch with what water, if a plant uses out water, so the substance, which is cobalt white paper, changes the water, the color. Okay, and tell us the color changes of cobalt white paper. What is the color for cobalt white paper? What's the color? Yes? Very good. So the cobalt white paper, it is blue in color. It is what? It is blue in color. Then it changes to white. It changes to pink. Okay, that is if it comes in contact with what? What I? It changes to what? Uh, to pink. So it is blue in color, it changes to what? Pink. What about an hydrous copper sulfate? What's the color? An hydrous an copper sulfate. An hydrous <coughs> copper, copper sulfate. So this one can also be used. In place of the white, the cobalt white paper. So this one is, it is in white. It's, it's white. This one is a uh, white, very good. It's see, white. When it comes in contact with water, it changes to what? To blue, very good. So these are the color changes. So for cobalt white paper, it is a blue. But if it comes in contact with water, it changes from blue to what? Then an aqueous copper sulfate, it's a uh, white in color. Now as it uh, comes in contact with water, it changes. From white to white, 
through. Are we together, guys? Then let us now look at question C. Question C, it says, uh, give one importance of transpiration to plants. Okay? Transpiration, you are saying, is a loss of water vapor by a plant through the stomata. Now, this one, it is also important. It's very important to add to plants. Okay? Now, they want you to state one importance of transpiration to add plants. Are we together, guys? So, number one, why is transpiration important, guys? You can tell us. Joyce. Why is transpiration important, guys? Okay, number one, transpiration cools a plant. So it cools, it cools <coughs> plants. That's number one. Number two, it helps a plant to get rid of excess water. So it say it helps, it helps a plant to, to get rid, rid of excess, excess what? Water. Okay? Then the other importance you can say, transpiration helps in transportation of water and mineral salts. Okay? So it helps, it helps in transportation. Transportation, transportation of water and what? Minerals. Okay? <coughs> then, question D. Let's look at question D. Question D, it says, uh, what is the purpose of setup B in the experiment? Why was this uh, setup Included in this experiment, a plant which consists of uh, which does not have leaves, okay, potted plant which does not have uh, leaves. What was the purpose, the reason of putting this one? So we just say to act as a control experiment, to act as a control control experiment. Are we together? Then question E. Question E it say uh, state states one factor other than humidity which can affect transpiration. So we are talking about factors which affect <coughs> transpiration. We're talking about uh, those uh, conditions which makes transpiration to be fast or what it strong. Right? Factors which affect the rate of transpiration. Meaning those are factors which can make transpiration to be fast or what it slow. Are you moving together? Depending on the what the condition. Now, they are saying stage one factor other than humidity. Meaning humidity is one of the factors, but they are saying other than humidity. Okay? So we have our four major factors. Okay? So these are what? We have one. We have temperature. <coughs> okay? Two, we have wind, very good. Uh, three, we have light intensity. Light intensity, light intensity. And finally, we have what? Humidity, which is the amount of water vapor in the atmosphere. Out together. Okay? Now, we are saying apart from what? Humidity. You state what? How many? Only one. Okay? So out of these, okay? Out of these three, temperature, wind, and light, they just speak what? One. Are we moving together? Yes. Now for the sake of our revision, we're talking about all these. Are we moving together? All these. Four. But in our case, this question was only seeking for us to just state what? One. So, can just say what? Temperature? Yes. Temperature. Temperature? Temperature. Or if you want, you can say wind. Others they say what? Light intensity. Okay? So during the final exam, if they say state one, <coughs> I, you just uh, mention what? One. Are we moving together? Even if you have uh, more than one point, are we moving together? Just state what? One. Because you're going to be disqualified. Instead of you mentioning uh, one, you're going to be penalized. I, you mentioned let's say four. 
Okay? The instructions are very, very important. Important. Are you very? Yes. So this marks the end of this presentation on transpiration line.